Hey, it's Josh Vigar from Android Authority. What's going on, everybody? And these are reasons to buy or pass on the Moto X. Phones under the 5 inch size are becoming more underappreciated these days. 4.7 inches is the size of the screen on the Moto X, and while it does provide 720p resolution, it still makes all media look really great. But more importantly, it makes for a phone that is very easy to use in one hand. The Moto X is probably one of the most accessible phones out there. Underneath the surface, you get a mostly stock Android build, which is always great, but even comes with more features given Motorola's extras that they've baked in. And those are the touchless control, which is Moto's way of making search even easier with voice activated commands that you can use even when the phone is locked by simply saying, okay, Google now. After that, you do have the active display or the active notifications. And this is all powered by a package that may not be the fastest processing package available, but is still providing a very good, reliable, and speedy experience. And the battery life is also very good on this phone and can last about as long as you need it to. And all of this comes in a package that is fully customizable. Using the Moto Maker, you can create a phone that is literally for you in different colors and in the future different material choices for a price that is actually not too hard to fathom. $99 on two-year contracts make this a pretty easy entry into the Android world. In the minus category for the Moto X, we can actually say that the size might be a detractor for some, because for those of you who want a big phone and everything that entails, like a large screen and much higher resolution in that screen, well, the Moto X is just gonna feel small to you. And in terms of power, the Snapdragon S4 Pro, the updated version of it in here is far from the highest performing package available today. Those of you who are very spec hungry won't be finding a Snapdragon 800 in here anytime soon. In software, there is a pretty decided lack of features. Now, while the two main additions Moto put in are really cool and pretty practical, when you strip them away, you pretty much only have a vanilla stock Android experience, which is not really for everybody. Expandable storage is not possible either as only 16 or 32 gigabytes are available for you power users. And with the Moto Maker, while it might be a bit of a game changer, it still lacks some of the features and some of the choices that were previously announced and are still yet to be released. Like for example, where are my wooden backs, Moto? And the final reason to pass on the Moto X is unfortunately that camera, which has been highly publicized for just not being a very stellar performer. While an update to it, much like the Nexus 5, has come out, it still hasn't made the pictures look that much better. The pictures are still usable, but they're not going to impress anybody anytime soon. And so there you have it for the reasons to buy or pass on the Moto X. Again, if you want to get more information than just the quick fire reasons we've given you in this video, then we have full reviews and comparisons available on the Android Authority channel. Make sure you drop us likes on our videos like this one if you like this segment, and to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already because Android Authority is your source for all things Android.